The government is now peddling fear on the Irish population. Hospital occupancy was much higher in the first week of January of 2020. All it offers is a lockdown with loss of employment, loss of your rights, natural rights to travel, to work, to worship, to see your family. It is imposing draconian measures on the Irish population, which I believe are completely unnecessary. The consequences of this government mandated lockdown will be unemployment, greater poverty, massive public debt, closure of businesses and bankruptcy, as well as an increase in depression and suicide. And what about all those people who have preventable but untestable diseases like uh, cancer, diabetes and heart trouble? They're not being looked after properly at the minute. So the government is basically acting as monomaniacs. It is trying to funnel through fear. It is trying to funnel people into one option of taking a vaccine, a novel RNA vaccine, with a, which has been tested for a very short time. I will not be taking a vaccine. Most people under 65 are of, are of very low risk. The inf global infection fatality rate for COVID-19, according to the WHO, is 0.23%. In Ireland, even in Ireland, it's under 0.5%. We have an alternative solution to this, and that is for the government to promote the use of uh, supplements of vitamin D and zinc to boost people's natural immunity. So they can combat, they can't even catch COVID-19. Secondly, we advocate the early use of hydroxychloroquine on the first onset of any symptoms. Hydroxychlor early use of hydroxychloroquine in many medical studies across the world has been proven to be very effective against COVID-19 and it's saved and it saves lives. Our party policy is that we are supportive of vaccines which are safe, tested and voluntary and we are opposed to the imposition of uh, vaccines that are unsafe, untested and mandatory. I will not be taking any vaccine and I would not advocate that others, especially those under 65, take it because the whole balance of risk and reward with this new vaccine which has been shortly tested only for a short time i believe is not worth the risk my name is herman kelly i'm president of the irish freedom party Gora magazine doesn't stop her getting it doesn't stop her getting right. it necessarily and it doesn't necessarily stop her transmitting it right. um, so that's an important thing that we will discover down the line